Cheesy garlic bread can be quite high in calories, but with a couple of substitutes, it can be turned into a high protein, absolute delicious snack. First, we will make the dough. For that, add 100 grams of all purpose flour into a bowl on a scale, followed up by a strong pinch of salt and a teaspoon of baking powder. This can also be bought pre made in the grocery. The name is Self Rising Flour, it's the exact same thing. To add some flavor, I will also add half a teaspoon each of garlic and onion powder and give it a stir. Next is 0% fat Greek yogurt. You can also use skewers, they have the same macros. You need to add roughly the same amount as the flour, so 100 grams to the bowl. Because most of the yogurts don't have enough sweetness for a dough, I recommend adding 10 grams of honey, this will make the dough a lot better. Now, with a spoon, start to mix everything for about a minute or so, until it becomes crumbly like here, then go in with your hands and start creating a dough ball. You need to knead the dough and scrape all of the flour from the bowl until you get a ball, this will take you about a minute. If the dough ball is still too sticky however, add the flour back on the scale and add in 1 teaspoon of 5 grams at a time to the bowl and keep kneading. Some yogurt makes makes the dough super sticky and you need to add a bit more flour. Once you have a dough ball that doesn't stick anymore, place it on your table and keep kneading with your palms for another minute or so. This will help create gluten that will give more texture to the bread. After that, put it back into the bowl and let it rest for 5 to 10 minutes. In the meantime, place a bowl on a scale and add in 10 grams of olive oil. Please always use a scale when using oil as the calories add up very quickly. As a matter of fact, oil has on a gram to gram scale the highest amount of calories from every food because it's basically 100% fat. Next, you need to grate in two cloves of garlic. I'm using my garlic press, but you can also chop the garlic very fine if you don't have any grater. Then, take a bunch of parsley, a couple of grams, give it a chop and add it to the bowl as well. Then, mix it with a brush if you have one. This will make it easier later on and set it aside. The next thing to prepare is shredded cheese. Here I have a fat reduced combination of Gouda and mozzarella. This has 30% fat, regular cheese has 45. By choosing a fat reduced cheese, you can actually save over 100 calories. Measure out 100 grams in the glass before preparing the last thing and it's any kind of deli meat. Personally, I like to use chicken. This is a very good protein source with 100 calories and about 20 grams of protein. You need about 60 grams of meat for this recipe. Cut the slices of meat and into planks and then again into fine pieces. Now take out a big piece of parchment paper and lay it on your cutting board. You need to weigh your dough ball next and divide it by the number of servings. This recipe will make four. If you want to meal prep more, just double or triple the recipe and all the ingredients, it's that easy. After you have divided the dough, spray a little bit of oil on the parchment paper. This helps spread out the dough and now you need to form the bread. Take one piece at a time and press the dough from the middle towards the outside. The best shape here is a rectangle and not a round shape you will see why in a second. Form all four servings and then top it with the cheese, lay it on one half of the dough and try to leave some space at the edges, do the same with the deli meat and then you need to close the bread. For that simply flip one side on top of the side where the cheese and the meat is and then press down the edges. At the end this should look like a mini calzone, this is exactly what you want. So repeat this with all of the dough and then heat up a big pan to medium low heat, not more than that. Then add in all of the mini calzones, try to separate them from each other. You don't need to add any oil because they already have oil from the parchment paper. Then close the lid and let them cook for about 2-3 to three minutes. After that, check the bottom of the bread. They should have a nice golden brown crust. This is perfect. So give all of them a flip and keep cooking with a closed lid to trap the heat for another 2-3 to three minutes. This took me 7 minutes in total until both sides have a nice color. So now it's time where you take the garlic oil and spread it on top of all 4 breads with a brush. Doing this at the very end will prevent the garlic from burning too much. Cover all 4 and then flip them and let the bread sit there for just 15-20 to 20 seconds and then remove them from the pan. The smell is incredible and I mean look at how beautiful this is. So the the best way to store, in my opinion, is to put them into a Ziploc bag and store them in the freezer and if you want to eat them, just microwave for a couple of minutes and that's it. They taste absolutely delicious. One of these cheesy garlic breads come in at 225 calories with 15 grams of protein. I made a cookbook that helped me go from this to this without even thinking about being on a diet. 190 low calorie high protein recipes from breakfast, lunch or dessert and even nutritional tables or protein sources, everything you need is in here. And the best part is that I will constantly be updating the book with new recipes and you will get every recipe update for free once you've purchased it. Join the thousands of people that already bought the book, the link is in the description.